Hello everyone, my name is Krista Dawkins and I'm the head teacher at Crestwood Community School. I apologise for not being able to do our open evenings in person, but obviously the pandemic and the rules around that have meant that we're unable to do so safely. However, we would like to extend an invite to you and one other in the family to come and see the school in action during open mornings. We will need to prioritise demand and if you have a child with special educational needs or you don't already have a child at the school, then you will get first priority on those appointments. Please contact justine.sayers at crestwood.hans.seh.uk to make your appointment. What I'm going to do now over the next 20 minutes is to do the presentation that I would have done on open evening. Thank you for those parents that emailed in advance some questions and I've tried to cover them as best as I can within the presentation. However, if you do have any further questions arising from the presentation, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. My email can be found on the website and I'll only be too happy um, to try and respond as best as I can. So I'm now going to present my screen and hopefully you will be able to see um, the presentation. So we are Crestwood Community School and you will know that the history um, of the school is that we merged with another school back in 2016. We were absolutely delighted with our Ofsted report that was published in 2018 and throughout this presentation you will see quotes. Um, please do refer to the full Ofsted report as well because that will give you more detail. So we have a mission that um, Crestwood is built on the belief that every learner can succeed through developing their aspirations, creativity and independence. So in simple terms, that means it doesn't matter what the starting point is. We actually have a belief that everybody can achieve great things. At Crestwood, we believe that every child is an individual. I have two children myself, and they are very different in the way in which they approach things. So every child is unique, every child has their own way of learning, and every child has talent or skill. You might be really gifted in maths, but we also have students, for example, that are gifted in music or gifted in sports. But it's our job to find what that talent and skill is and to release the potential. We absolutely believe that every child has the potential to be great and to achieve really, really good things. And it's our job to work hard with your children to be able to unlock that potential, to find the hook that gets them into the learning and so that they make the progress that we want them to make. So Crestwood is one school, two campuses. I've been here since 2006, so this is my 14th year as head teacher, and I love my job. I love my schools, I love the community, I love the children, and I intend to stay here for quite a, um, you know, a considerable time um, as well. Now we have two campuses, one at Shakespeare and one at um, Sherborg Road, and uh, we have a senior team across both campuses. There are two heads of school, Mr Gibbs, who's based at the Shakespeare campus and Mr Nash who's based at the Sherborne campus and they deal with the day-to-day -day running. I visit each campus each day and it may be that I do a morning on one and an afternoon on the other. Shakespeare is built for 700 students and Sherborne is built for 800 so they're very similar in size and what I think for me that that means is that each campus still retains that small family feel and then it means that we're not in a very big building all together and having the two campuses makes us really unique and all of our students say that they really like the fact that they feel that they are known by the staff at the school. Our average class sizes are 28 and excitingly for the last three years we've been completely oversubscribed and in year seven to nine we are currently operating a waiting list. This year we had extra demand and therefore we had to put on an extra class for year seven. Unfortunately I won't have the capacity to do that again next year but this year we were able to welcome those in that wanted to come to the school. One of the key features of Crestwood is that we have very stable staffing. We recruit incredibly well to all of our posts, whether they be support staff posts or teaching posts, and our staff stay. Because we take care of the staff as well as the students, it's a great place to work, and therefore they are 
they feel that they are professionally developed, but also they feel happy working in a school that values them as individuals. These are obviously our Ofsted ratings. So we are good with three outstanding gradings. And we were absolutely delighted when we got those results. I still have the same passion, drive and determination to make Crestwood even better. You can't sit back on your laurels and we want to continue to improve the school until we are fully outstanding. When we first started on this journey in 2016, we had a thousand students and you can see there that obviously the Shakespeare campus was oversubscribed and the Sherbrooke campus um, was, was really probably a third full. Today that has completely changed and we now have 1227 students currently on our books. But if you look at the difference between the two campuses, there is very little difference between the two. And we've almost doubled the size of the students at the Sherbrooke campus. Nearly 40% of our students come from high prior attaining groups based on their key stage two results. And at this moment in time, as I've already alluded to, we have very um, a high number of mid-year admissions. Amazingly, we took in over 30 students during the lockdown period because they could see what we were doing. And I will talk about um, that more later in the presentation. Over the past five years, since we merged in 2016, we have fully embedded the ethos and culture of what Crestwood stands for, and it is the new Crestwood. I truly believe that teaching and learning is the best that it's ever been, and when I walk around the school, I'm immensely proud of the really purposeful atmosphere that is in every single classroom. And what I would urge you to do is put the history to one side and look at the current. We are Crestwood Community School and we are a strong school that offers an inclusive education. League tables don't define how happy your child is and it doesn't actually define how good the school is. League tables are just a snapshot in time and they relate to a particular cohort of um, children. Year on year, our results are improving and we are on a three year upward trajectory. The 2020 results are based on our utmost professional judgment and I truly believe that the students got the grades that they deserved and we were commended by Hampshire County Council for a very credible set of results and the way we went about working to ensure that those grades were awarded. With our Crestwood family, you'll see that on everything. It's on our social media, um, it's, it's often on letters um, and on parent bulletins. And it may seem twee to you, but we are a family. That's how we describe ourselves. And we're really proud to be so. We have excellent relationships with our parents, our parents and our students. And we're really honest. If we don't get it right, we'll say we don't get it right. And then we'll work with you as parents and students to ensure that we get it right in the future. We're not complacent, we, we're not perfect, and I think that honesty helps to create a really transparent relationship between us, our parents, students, and the local community. I've already said that students, regardless of their starting point, can achieve exceptionally well, and we have really resilient and determined staff that find the good in every child. We like catching children being good. If you keep seeking out the negative, then you create an atmosphere of negativity. And that's not what Crestwood is about. And I would really, I think one of the strengths of Crestwood is that the, the staff actually like children. Children. I don't know about you, but sometimes I've been into my son's school and it would appear to me that the children there, the, the relationships don't seem as strong and sometimes the teachers actually appear like they don't like kids. And that's one of the first things that we ask in interview is why do you want to work with children? And we are fully staffed with subject specialists. Every teacher in their subject is a specialist. And in English, maths and science, we overstaff. So in the case of absences, we can backfill those absences with qualified teachers and again 2018 talked about the fact with the Ofsted that we have this highly dedicated staff and that has not changed so our reputation, we've already talked about the specialist teachers who do care and genuinely go the extra mile. We have teachers that will accompany um, students where parents can't do so on events at weekends, where um, teachers will stay late at night to work with students, will pick up the phone to a parent when they're in need and just help put the fear and anxiety away that may be coming through. 
We have a family support officer in Jane Cole, and she works with all our families in times of needs. And our pastoral care is absolutely meticulous. We go above and beyond. If you haven't got pastoral care and good pastoral care, then learning suffers. So for us, that's a key priority. There are lots to do around the school and we encourage students to take risks. We actually like the fact that failure is seen as a learning opportunity, that failure is approached as something that shouldn't be judgmental. We all make mistakes. I've crashed my car, but you learn from it and you move on. And that's what we encourage our students to do in a very safe environment. We also link closely with the local training school, Thorndon, and we train teachers at the school. And as a result, we have the next generations of teachers ready to take those vacancies should they arise. And we often recruit the teachers that we've trained. And most importantly, we're contactable. We have our uh, pastoral workers, our family support workers, our teachers. We can be, you know, contacted at any point that you need us. And I think as a parent and being a parent myself, that's really important because you are worried and concerned about the well-being of your child. Then it's essential you get to talk to somebody about it sooner rather than later. And as I've already said, we're not complacent. And again, Ofsted 2018 talks about the fact that staff know the pupils really well and they know those families well. Um, and there's the bit about us being a Crestwood family. During lockdown, um, I'm going to blow our trumpet. I think we excelled. I think that we had teachers that had a really positive can-do attitude from making food parcels in the early days and to how we approached the learning. I couldn't wish to work with a better group of individuals. We actually delivered food parcels to all of our free school meal families and we ensured that every two weeks boxes of food were sent home to those in need, even sometimes those that didn't even register for free school meals. Um, we knew that they were falling on hard times and so we made sure that they had food. These boxes contained breakfast and also lunch um, items and parents were really appreciative of the efforts that they went to and the fact that it was delivered to their door and they didn't have to go out meant that it was all much so easier for them managing a busy family. We made 6,000 items of PPE um, and we made these and distributed them across to the health professionals across Eastleigh and Chandler's Ford, even to Southampton Hospital. We even made face masks. That community spirit underlies things that we do at Crestwood um, and it was important that we played our part. From the 20th of April, um, we delivered online interactive lessons. Students had a timetable and they could access their lessons online, seeing their teachers on a daily basis. We also provided a stationary hub and we provided art resources to our GCSE art students, which meant that the children had the um, uh, tools of the trade to work at home. They had exercise books, they had pens. And again, that was set up by support staff to make sure that families weren't uh, financially implicated and providing them with the things that they needed to help learning. We handed out over 120 laptops to make sure that students could get online where we knew that there was um, a, a conflict over the use of devices in a home. And we also issued over 50 Wi-Fi hubs to ensure that homes that didn't have Wi-Fi, students could get online and access the learning. Now, for all of those efforts, we got praised by the local MP and we also got a letter of thanks from Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister. And having those efforts recognised during a really difficult period really boosted our spirit. The good news is that if we were to face the same situation again, we are placed tomorrow to set up the same systems and children would not lose a day of their learning. Crestwood has established a remote learning network already alongside what we are doing within the classroom. So if we have children that are medically vulnerable and if we have children um, that are unable to attend school, they are now accessing lessons remotely from their home. This has seen a great change in the way in which we approach things and we're really excited and we've embraced the developments that have happened. Over lockdown, we did stay in contact 
um, with our parents. And as a head teacher, I was really immensely proud of the things that parents were saying to us. And they were really pleased about the care and the level of support that we put in for our students. And I urge you to go back in your own um, time and look at these slides because these are the quotes that um, make me smile on a daily basis. And I think these parents have summed it up perfectly. So the results in 2020, they were the best ever results. And that wasn't by us giving the results. That was because that truly was a reflection of what the students um, achieved. Our English results have improved year on year to a really strong level with 80% of our students achieving a grade four and 54% that magic grade five. And maths and science grades are as strong as well. Both campuses, both the Sherbrook and the Shakespeare campuses achieved equally and both our high and low prior attaining students exceeded the national targets. And most importantly, or one of the most important things is our SEN students achieve much higher than their peers nationally. And that makes me really proud of what we do for those students who have learning needs. Here are some of our students. Ruth was at the Sherbourne campus. She came in with already very high levels, but she excelled and she achieved 10 GCSEs all at a top grade nine. And her progress was at least a grade above than others nationally. That's a real achievement and Ruth thoroughly deserved those grades. Tom, he also came in to the Sherbrooke campus with strong Key Stage 2 levels. Tom achieved an outstanding 12 GCSEs, 8 at 9 at grade 9. He also achieved about a grade higher than other people of his similar um, intake nationally. Hattie, I am so incredibly proud of. Hattie came in as a mid prior retaining student, an average student, but Hattie excelled at Crestwood and embraced all the opportunities that were offered to her. She achieved 10 GCSEs, eight with an astonishing grade seven. But the most amazing thing is Hattie's progress score. Hattie achieved over three and a half grades higher on every qualification than similar students nationally. And giving her results and seeing her face was just an experience that I will never forget. And finally, Ben. Ben came to us into the dyslexia provision at the Shakespeare campus. And as you can see, Ben obviously struggled with his English because of his special need. Ten, um, ben achieved an astounding 10 GCSEs all at grade five and better. And again, like Hattie, his progress score meant that he achieved over three and a half grades higher on each qualification than similar students nationally. That's just four students. I could have used loads more examples to show you. But when I say to you that every child can achieve at Crestwood, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter about the starting points. It's the work and the effort that we put in alongside you and your children that will achieve such outstanding results. Now, outside of the school day, at the moment, things are very different and we're hoping that from October we'll be able to offer more extracurricular activities. But in the normal life of Crestwood, these are the things that we offer. So music and, pan, uh, music and drama is really strong and we have the steel pans and we do musicals every year. And unfortunately, Greece this year got postponed. Our sports facilities are unrivaled. We have two amazing sports halls. At Sherborg, we're now having a new sports hall for, uh, floor fitted and we're having one done at Shakespeare later in the year. Extensive trips outside of the UK when we're allowed, uh, things like Iceland and uh, New York. This year, the children even, um, or last year, went to Florida and they took part in the NASA space program, which was absolutely amazing. We have strong links with Southampton University and um, we do lots of STEM activities and we have after school clubs across both campuses. At the moment, again, because we're in really uncertain times, what we do is with year 10 and 11, we offer after school learning. And at this moment in time, it's done remotely. So students go home, get comfortable, log on, and then we have lessons outside of the school day to help boost their performance in the GCSEs. And there 
It's about what Ofsted is saying again. We have students that are really keen and ambitious for their future, and they really value everything that we put in place, and they absolutely value what they go on to do at college. Class charts is something we use to communicate with parents, and it's where we record our behaviour and our rewards. Now, I really like it as a parent, and the reason being is because you get real-time updates. As a parent, you will have an app on your phone, and you will be able to see what your child is doing on a particular day. And you can be ready, instead of when they come home and you say, how's your day been? And they go, oh, I don't know, whatever. Class charts, you will have it in front of you. And you can say, look, I see you had a problem in this lesson. What was that about? And it's a really open and transparent process. The other side of that, of course, is that there are rewards and students can collect class charts points and they can use these um, against prizes. So things like tennis rackets or sports equipment or school trips. The most popular prize, believe it or not, is cream tea with myself. Um, and there's a little picture there that you can see where um, we have three students who are allowed out on the last lesson on a Friday to come and have tea and scones and cake with the head teacher and it's great. We do lots of positive phone calls, lots of positive postcards and we have assemblies. Um, at the moment they're remotely but we still celebrate success and we have a progress wall. During lockdown we still did all of these rewards and every week the best performing students got boxes of chocolates posted home to them just to keep them wanting to engage and they were really appreciated. Normally every summer we operate a rewards trip and we take students off to Thorpe Park or Splashdown um, or we take them bowling and to the cinema in Eastleigh. And then the highlight of the year is the awards evening where students and parents come along and students have been nominated for awards and it's in a fantastic event attended by over 400 people. Student leadership is really strong at Crestwood and we embrace it right from the beginning of year seven. We have a really active school council that help run events within school. So, for example, at the moment, we're organising um, a yellow day for the local mental health day that's uh, for the local community that's going to be happening. We also um, organise events for OAPs and we have a, um, an annual Christmas meal. And I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to do it this year where all of the um, local residents from um, local um, care homes, um, all from sheltered accommodation, wardened accommodation, come in and have a Christmas lunch and some entertainment. We have a head boy and a head girl on each campus and they're elected via a whole school democratic vote by the students. At the moment we're in that process because it was delayed from the end of last year and it's great watching their videos and um, trying to get students to vote for them. And on top of that we have ambassadors that represent our Loric strands which are leadership, organisation, resilience, initiative and communication. So there's an opportunity for students right from the get-go in year seven to get involved um, in helping shape the future of the school. You will know that we have a very strong social media presence and you can see in the corner there that we have school dogs. Uh, we have Woody and Sherbert who are our school dogs. Uh, Woody is at the Shakespeare campus and Sherbert is on the uh, Sherbourne campus and they are um, a, a school pet. They're not therapy dogs, they're not support dogs but many of our students don't have pets at home including the head teacher I don't have a pet but we find that it just helps calm children down and they're very much part of our, our school life. You can follow what we do on Twitter um, or Facebook or even Instagram and we do communicate with parents through this. Of course we would prefer you to communicate via email um, but we do and as the head teacher I respond as much as possible to the comments that are put on these pages. Really important to um, me is that Crestwood has the H factor, and that's the happy factor. I want you to send your children to school and know that they are going to be happy. We want to have the right climate because the right climate ensures really good progress. And students and staff that are happy and supported achieve really, really well. If we have happy children, then that means they excel. And most importantly, we want children to have a choice in what they do. We want them to have a choice about their future.
There are some really, really good schools in Eastleigh and it's very difficult to compare us. We all have our own selling points. We have all have our own approaches. And my advice to you will be is choose the school where you think that your child is going to be happiest. Choose the school where you think that your child is going to fit in. It's not a competition. What's most important is that the next five years you get the right choice for your child. We have a reputation for excellent learning, opportunities and progress and we really like children and we have outstanding personal development and that was verified by Ofsted. We have a school that supports our families, hence we are called the Crestwas Families and at times we might fall out but you know we work through it and we find a way forward. We are one school across two campuses for the good of Eastleigh children and beyond. We take from over 20 different primary schools, even though we have five feeder schools. And with the new primary school going in into Stoneham Lane, demand for us is even greater. We are a school that isn't complacent. We continually want to improve, but we do provide stability and consistency within our staff. And that means we have outstanding capacity to improve further. And as I keep saying, we are a school now that is consistently oversubscribed, who had to add an extra class to the year sevens this year so we could accommodate the need. We are a school with three outstanding gradings in Ofsted. Now, if all being well and restrictions are loosened, by the time we get to offer day, we will invite you in as soon as we can to come in and just have a cup of coffee and a catch up and for you to start feeling part of the Crestwood family. The minute you get that letter offering you that place, you are a part of Crestwood. My key staff will be visiting primary and junior schools and we will be having conversations with staff so that we know that we are going to be supporting your child in a very smooth transition as best we could. This year we weren't able to do transition days in the normal way that we would but we set up an online portal for year six and even though you know restrictions may change we are going to continue with that really good practice. We will have your students in hopefully before the end of the summer term and we do offer a summer school in late July on um, the chosen campus. When I came for interview at Crestwood I was governed by this and it's not about who you are or where you come from, it's about who you want to be and where you want to go. It's our job to take children and to work with them and you as families to get children to where they want to be. We don't put a ceiling on potential. If a child has a desire and a drive to achieve something, then it's our job to help them do that. Now you apply online, I'm sure you know how to do this, um, and you will only will apply for Crestwood Community School. At this stage, we're not bothered about the campus preference. We as a school manage that, not Hampshire County Council. Because of the demand that we've had for the school, I urge you that if you want to come here, that you do put us as first choice, because that will secure your place. And as I said, we'll sort, seek um, campus preferences later on. Now, in the years that we've been running the two campuses, in the four intakes that we've had, we've never not given anybody their campus preference. But if that does become an issue, then um, we will have to look at home campuses, um, you know, where you're closest to your home address and whether there are siblings on one campus or the other. <laughs> So thank you. That's my presentation. Um, all I can say is that uh, we, we as a school think we do a great job and I'm sure that there are parents out there that can vouch for us and there are parents out there that may have had a different experience. What I would urge you to do though is if you do have any concerns or queries or there are questions that you want to ask, please do get in touch. Come and see it for yourself. Um, I would send my own children to this school. I wouldn't have done that back in 2006. I think Crestwood provides the nurture, the care, but also the challenge and the opportunity for students from all walks of life. Come and have a look and join the Crestwood family. Thank you.